Welcome to Training Mug's Java Coding Challenges series. In this session, we'll discuss about one more coding challenge, that is finding the reverse of a given number. So let us understand the logic first. How do you find out the reverse of a particular given number? Example, suppose if I take a number as an input like 1, 2, 3, 4, now how do I find the reverse of it? So ultimately I need to get an output like 4, 3, 2, 1. So this is what the reverse of a number. So how we are going to do it? So generally in our Java API, we have lot many inbuilt functions. So uh, one inbuilt function that if you think like in our integer wrapper class, you have a method, static method called reverse, which takes the integer number as a parameter. So, but this reverse method does not going to give you the reverse of a given number. Actually, how it is going to work is suppose if you pass this one, two, three, four, or whatever the number you take as an input, it is not going to give you four, three, two, one. But what it is going to give you is, so when you're talking about this reverse of a number, so first it will convert this one, two, three, four into zeros and ones. We know that every integer number occupies four bytes of memory or four bytes of data, it will be treated internally. So now you have a sequence of zeros and ones. Now, so this one, two, three, four will be converted into zeros and ones. Example, suppose if it is into four bytes, so now this all zeros and one sequence will have. So now what does this reverse method will do is, this reverse method will reverse these byte sequence. So now what happens is, this will be reversed. So here, the two's complement will uh, reverse this whole byte sequence. So when it, it reverse, so now whatever the value that it will have, it will come back here. So now if you convert this, it is going to give you a different value, but not 4321. So that's the reason never use this reverse method to uh, print uh, the reverse of a particular number. So most of the freshers will get confused with the reverse method. Even in interview, if they ask you about the reverse method, reverse method always will give you two's complement of a reverse number, which is not actually the reverse of a number. Rather, it is a reverse of two's complement, the zeros and ones. So when you reverse the zeros and ones, you're going to get a different value. Now, how are you going to get this then if you don't use a built-in function? So we have to write our own function which can uh, calculate the reverse of number. Now let us understand what is the logic. So now here, if I take my number as one, two, three, four, now here the actual logic is, now I need to get four, three, two, one. So how do I going to that? So if you look at this, the each and every digit of this, I need to get it in a reverse order. So in the first time when I'm performing some operation, now I need to get this four. How are you going to get this four? So we know that if you perform any reminder with the 10, this is now going to give you the reminder of it. So if you perform one, two, three, four, reminder 10, the reminder value is now going to get four. So this is the way you get the digit. But this number in the second iteration should be one, two, three, not one, two, three, four because four we already got. So this one, two, three, if you do it reminder with 10, now it is going to give you the reminder three. And similarly in the next iteration, this one, two, three should be one, two. And when you're performing reminder 10, now it is going to give you the reminder two. And then when you're saying one, and finally, when you're saying one reminder 10, this will give you one as a reminder. And after that, this one now should become zero. So now this is what our logic. So here we got our individual reminders or the digits, but how do you perform certain operation on these reminders so that it is now going to give you actually the reverse of a number. So how we are going to do this is we are going to take two numbers. One is reverse of a number, which I'm initializing it to zero. And then this is our reminder. So what we need to do is till the number become zero, I need to perform certain operation. So here I, I'll take while loop. You can take any loop uh, to perform this operation. Now while looks simpler. So now here we'll say while number greater than zero. Now what we are going to do is first we need to get the reminder. The reminder you're going to get number reminder 10. So this will give me the reminder. So now this I'll assign it to my variable that is reminder is equal to number reminder by 10. Now in the first iteration, the reminder value is going to be four. Right. So now what I need to do this, I need to perform certain operation saying that reverse is equal to reverse. We need to multiply with a 10 plus this reminder. We need to add every time. So after this, 
this number we need to make it so initially it is one two three four right now i need to make it to be one two three so how we are going to do this so we need to divide that with the 10 and then we need to reassign the value to number so this is the way you update so in the first iteration first we got the reminder as 4 and then this reverse is 0 now 0 into 10 is 0 0 plus 4 now reverse value we are going to get it as 4 in the second iteration and now number will become 1 2 3 now 1 2 3 is greater than 0 that is true now the 1 2 3 reminder 10 now the reminder I'm going to get as 3 now then the reverse is going to be reverse is already 4 4 into 10 is 40 40 plus reminder is 3 that now the reverse value will become 43 in the second iteration I'm going to get a reminder 2 now then this reminder 2 43 into 10 it will become 430 plus 2 it will become 432 in the next iteration I'm going to get a reminder 1 then it will become 4320 plus 1 now I'm going to get 4321 as my reverse value and after that number will become zero this condition will become false so finally this loop will end and ultimately i'll get my reverse of a number in a variable called reverse so this is the logic to print the reverse of any given number so let me open my eclipse so under my project now i'm going to create a new java class so i'm taking the name of this class as reverse of number so let me take my main method click on finish so I'm deleting this line now here let me take this number as an input so to take an input we know that we need to take the scanner class scanner object by taking scanner scanner is equal to new scanner system dot in so this scanner will be there in java dot util package so we need to import so once you import now here I'm writing an SOP statement to say enter number so this is what the number that the user will enter so I'm taking this number to a variable integer number is equal to scanner dot next it so now uh, here the user will enter the uh, number that number I'm assigning to a variable called number so now according to our logic so first let us see the inbuilt function of reverse how it is going to work as I already explained you in uh, uh, the logic so we are not going to use reverse uh, method reverse method is not going to give you uh, the actual reverse of a number but rather if you go through the documentation of it it says that it is going to give you the two's complement of the binary representation of the entered number so let me take a, a reverse variable and then let me try to print this reverse variable to check whether I'm actually getting the reverse of a number so let me run this program so once you run this program it will ask you to enter the number now I'm entering 1 2 3 4 so once you enter 1 2 3 4 so now it is not going to give you 4 3 2 1 rather it is going to convert this 1 2 3 4 into zeros and ones that to be 32 bit and then that 32 bit will perform two's complement that's two complements again will be reconverted to a decimal number so this is what the actual value you're getting so this is what the inbuilt function we are not supposed to use because many freshers will get confused with this reverse function that's why i explain so but rather we need to write our own logic to get the reverse of a number so if you go through our logic now here i'm going to use uh, a while loop to uh, run this while loop till the number is greater than zero but in every iteration I need to find out a reminder so I'm going to say integer reminder is equal to how do you get the reminder so I'm going to reminder with 10 so this is what the reminder I'll get every time so now according to our logic we need to take a variable integer reverse this I'm going to assign it to a zero now this variable I need to update with a functionality saying that I need to multiply with the 10 and then plus this reminder I need to add it every time so after adding this number I need to update it by dividing it with 10 so that's how our loop continues so if you don't divide it with 10 the number is going to be 1 2 3 4 all the time or whatever the number you enter so your your while loop runs infinite number of times so ultimately once this loop is finished the reverse of number will be stored in reverse so now I need to print that the reverse of number so now I'm going to print this as reverse of the entered number is this plus reverse so this is what the logic so let me run the program 
So once you run, it is now asking me to enter the number. I'm entering one, two, three, four. Then the reverse of entered number we got as four, three, two, one. So let me run it one more time with a different number. And then when you run it, so you got a reverse of the entered number. So this is a logic to find out the reverse of the given number.